the most dangerous thing in the bush is human being. Your life is always at risk. You can die at any time. My name is Jacob. I work in Opejeta as a Northern White Rhino caretaker. I'm um, in Peter. Yeah, I'm a Muslim Northern White Rhino. My name is James. I'm um, a caretaker of the Northern Whites as well as our baby Ringo. My name is Joseph. I am a caregiver of the Northern White Rhino. My name is David. I'm Daniel Moniki. I'm the head of anti poaching unit on Pejeta. My main work is to provide security to wildlife and also the neighboring community. My name is John Tekeles. I'm the head of anti poaching dog unit. My name is Frederick. I work here in PAC or Public Animal Conflict and actually is a very critical job because there is a great animal conflict with people outside surrounding the park. Referring to the Bible, when God created man, the main job that man was given, he was told, protect the nature. And I believe I'm doing what I am meant to be doing. I was told to be able to get a lot of people 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 to get a lot of Taking care of animals is really good, especially working with Sudan and the Northern Whites. Sudan is the last Northern male left in the world. If he happened to die, I feel very sad. He's everything to me. Ringo is more or less like a human child. He requires a lot of attention. So far, I'm enjoying most to stay with Ringo. I am keeping him away from the rain. I love him very much. And I think even him, he loved me very much. At the moment, I am like his parent. When I found him that morning, when, when he was so weak and so skinny, and now that he is growing to be a big boy, it, it brings me so much joy. I <laughs> For the rhinos, they just kill them because of only horns. And if you look at rhino horns, it is just something very common. It is like our fingernails. We need to embrace other ways of earning money. With this level of joblessness among the young people, they think the easiest way would be to risk their lives and kill animals just to get the money. And if these rhinos would go extend, where would they get this money? So many people, they are killing the animal and they are destroying the nature. It's why we are working so hard. If you ever had a chance to see when a rhino has been poached, it's an horrible scene. It's, it's, and it's really a sad thing, especially for us rangers, because there's something that you risk your life for every day. You wake up to monitor rhinos, you face elephants, you face lions every day, but only in one night a poacher comes and kills the animal so mercilessly. They don't care whether it was a female, either it was pregnant with another calf. They just kill it. It's really, it's really painful and a very horrible scene. It is more important for me to commit myself to teach the communities outside there that never kill this animal because in this animal they benefit through tourism and also this conservation. To me, I think we are playing a very good role, not only in Olpegeta, but also in the country, among the heroes of this country. You are not doing it for Olpegeta. You are not doing it for yourself. You are doing it for the nation. It is high time that we need to be the guardians of whatever that is given to us. Nature, as beautiful as it is, we, we need to make sure it's well protected. These animals are helpless. Humans have power. We need to be their voice.